Brazil police raided former President Jair Bolsonaro's home and seized his mobile phone as part of the investigation into his COVID-19 vaccination records. The investigation is to reveal how Bolsonaro, a declared coronavirus skeptic who vowed to never get vaccinated, was registered as a vaccinated individual. The vaccine probe it's putting, it's one of many putting the former far-right leader under pressure, including investigation into alleged voter suppression, attacks on the legitimacy of Brazilian elections and embezzlement of foreign gifts. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called on the fighting in Sudan to stop immediately. Airstrikes were heard in the Sudanese capital on Wednesday, even as warring factions agreed to a new seven-day ceasefire from the 4th of May, weakening chances of a lasting truce. A broader disaster also seems to be in the making, as Sudan's impoverished neighbours grapple with the influx of refugees. Previous ceasefire agreements between the army and the paramilitary have ranged from 24 to 72 hours, but none have been fully observed. Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi met with Peruvian President Dina Bulate in Lima as the two leaders discussed bilateral issues to consolidate trade ties. They met at the presidential palace to mark the 150th anniversary of the start of diplomatic relations between the two countries. The Japanese minister also met with his Peruvian counterpart at Peru's foreign ministry headquarters where both delivered a joint statement. The Japanese minister expressed Japan's expectation of Peru's role as an important economic partner to strengthen global supply chains. Indian Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar will hold bilateral talks with his Russian and Chinese counterparts in Goa today. Foreign Ministers of the SEO grouping will meet tomorrow. And this is the second time that both Chinese and Russian ministers are in India this year. Ties between India and China have seen a steep fall since the 2020 clash in Ladakh's Kalwan Valley. Wang Yi, now China's top diplomat, visited New Delhi last year and met Indian counterpart S.J. Shankar. And in March, China's new foreign minister, Shin Gang, attended the G20 meeting in New Delhi. Meanwhile, Pakistan's foreign minister will also attend the SEO meeting in Goa tomorrow. Russia's presidential press service has alleged that Ukraine attempted to assassinate Russian president by using two drones to attack his Kremlin residence. The Kremlin suspects the drone assault was a planned terrorist act targeting the life of Russian president on the eve of 9th of May, Victory Day Parade. At least 16 people were killed in Russia's strike on southern Kherson region. According to local prosecutors, authorities introduced a curfew in the main city of Kherson starting end of the week. They further added that around 22 civilians were wounded in the attack. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky held talks with Nordic leaders in Finland during a surprise visit, according to the Ukrainian president's spokesperson. The talks will focus on boosting Kiev's military capabilities and looking for concrete steps to bring it closer to joining NATO. The Nordic countries have been among the strongest supporters of Ukraine since the invasion. This visit to Finland is his fourth official trip abroad since Russia's full-scale invasion. He has also visited the United States, Britain, France, Poland and the EU's headquarters in Belgium and is due in Germany on the 13th of May. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.